today I'm going to kind of show you how to navigate my Printly. And so a couple things you can do, you can look at their inspiration boards when you go to myprintly.com up here. Um, and you can look at their inspiration boards. They give you a lot of good ideas. You can view more of what you can do just by using photos. I am a scrapbooker. I like to scrapbook all of our memories. I also decorate with pictures all the time. It's something that really makes my home feel home um, because it is my family and I like to showcase the good moments in our lives, especially when there are hard times. Um, there is also the my Printly's, the team that kind of comes up with ideas um, and, and other ideas that are there. And then the one thing that I really wanted to show you is the mobile and desktop tools. So if you click on here, it, you can... Um, look at the HP photo creations. You can look at how to create cards, uh, social media snapshots, you can print um, and do kind of instant ink um, replacement and how you pay for all of that. So that this is just kind of a basic navigation of that. If you wanted to learn more, it obviously says click and learn more. Um, but the one thing that I wanted to do is look at the HP photo creations and you can just hit this free download. I went ahead and did that. It downloads very quickly and when it downloads it opens up HP photo creations. Now HP photo creations um, allows you to do a lot of different things. Uh, it is on your computer and so it is a, a piece of software on your computer you can create an account and I would do this up here in the upper corner it basically just has you enter your email make up a password and you're done and so that's really easy you just have to confirm it and and that's done but you can do so much on here so you can order prints you can do collages um, of, of pictures if you want you can create cards you can create calendars photo books you can create gifts so my, uh, mugs and puzzles and t-shirts and iPhone cases and they are priced relatively well so for an iPhone 5 case which is the type of phone I have it would be right about um, I think thirty nine dollars oh thirty five dollars thirty four and ninety five so that's really not a terrible price for you know a case to protect your phone and it is personalized with the design that you like um, you can design your own you can use photos they do have a lot of different options they have some cute little options that they've already created but you know you can do what you would like so I like the idea of gifts and more if you're somebody that needs to create a quick gift you like to give picture gifts and and people like receiving those go with something like that if you just want to make it easier on yourself now if you'd like to get a little bit more creative you can do photo books I create photo books for kind of each quarter year in our kids and family's life so what did we do January through March what did we through do April through June um, and and go from there and I really like creating photo books. They do have some different layouts that you can choose from. Most of them are milestone layouts, but they do have the general ones. You can also design your own. I usually take the design your own option. Um, I always create a calendar. They have really cute um, calendars that you can make. You can do monthly or yearly. I do yearly ones, but their designs are very cute. In addition, obviously you can design your own. And so the calendars are great. They're nice and sturdy. What I want to show you just today is how to create a simple um, card and so because it is Mother's Day this weekend I thought I would take you guys through just how to easily do this. So you can choose to design your own. Lots of people like that option or you can choose one of their options here. Um, and so for me if I were to kind of just go ahead and look at one of these I'd want to choose an option that had enough spaces for me to put pictures of my kids and it's for my mom which is my kids grandma obviously so I like this one that says happy mother's day grandma so if I select that card I'm going to print it at home. Now I'm at work right now so I'm going to save this project and print it when I get home but you just print it at home and it's already got the stuff in there so you it says family members first names and so I'm going to go ahead and put my mom's name um, if I wanted to say like Happy Mother's Day Grandma Andrea uh, because we call our kid our grandparents by their first names Grandma Andrea Grandma Cheryl or I could say love and then I could put my kids names so you can just kind of personalize how you want it to go. I could also just delete this and, and completely remove it, and that's fine too. Then if I wanted to add pictures, which for me, pictures are the essential reason I'm using the HP Photo Creations. If I click on Photos and I click on Add Photos, I can add pictures from Facebook. I would need to log in, or Google+, Plus if you're one of those that uses Google+, Plus, or I can get them off this computer. For me, I'm going to browse this computer. If I click on Photos right here, the pictures that I want to add are the ones that we just 
just got taken of the kids. And so I have three different photos that I'm going to click on because I do have three different spaces. And I'm just going to start dragging and dropping them here. So if I drag this one, this is our kind of key point photo. I'm going to go ahead and put this one right there and this one up in the corner. And that is a perfect personalized mo uh, Mother's Day card for my mom from the kids. And so I would print this out at home. Now you can change the size to um, whatever size print you have and it'll adjust accordingly. You may have to move your pictures around a little bit. So like for me, I need to adjust this one up a little bit um, just to make sure that I'm getting a good, good picture of it. But Overall, it looks really great. I really like it. Um, I could change the layout if I wanted, I'll sh uh, or or I could even change the design, change the background, do whatever I would like. So if I wanted to change the theme and I was like, hmm, I really want to look at seasonal, I want to add this in, I can apply it to the page. And in the background of the page, you'll see that it changes everything like that. Um, I can add new font. So again, if I go to add an item, sorry, I can add a text box. I can choose the type of font that I want. So let's say I want display font. And then I just drag that over here and I can type in I love peanuts or whatever I love. Um, and, and there it is. You can remove that also if you don't want that. There is the undo option. Um, that you can use. So I'm going to undo it back to the original point. You can also add in little basic graphics. So let's just say like, you know, this is a cute card, but I want to add a little bit of hearts. So I can just add those in. I can readjust the size and I can move it to where I would like it in the frame. And then I've added a little bit of personalization to it. Um, and then and then we're, we're pretty much done there. You would go ahead and you could hit print now you would need to hook up your printer. I, um, <laughs> I'm at school, so I've got the staff printer. At home, it would pull up my, um, my HP photo printer, and it would just print out, and it would look really great. Now I am going to use this card, so I will have pictures of what it looks like for you guys in, um, in our Mother's Day uh, extravaganza creation. <laughs> so. Um, it just gives you kind of some options, what you need to do. You just hit print. It does print it, and it looks really great. Um, and so if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and put them in the comment section. It's really easy software to navigate, um, and it's really easy software to install. And, um, and I just I really hope that you guys check it out. So if you have any questions, again, put those in the comment sections. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.